cause just because. No. You only pass if you put in the work. Okay, so that's it for the round. I'm sorry I had to take you back. Uh, so on, was that Wednesday or something? Uh, I was, I was trying to do like a live demo and it didn't really work, it wasn't that clear. So what I did was I got some screen grabs to try and uh, kind of showcase this thing I was talking about, the issue of raw image files. Um, and so these screenshots really are showing you um, the process I go through on my mobile device, right? So it, it might not be the same as, as the device that you have, just because I'm using, uh, I guess, a different version of Android from what maybe people might be using. Um, and also the camera apps tend to be different. Right? So this is specific to OnePlus 3T, right? The camera version 3.0.30 actually, not dot, not, dot, dot, three dot zero dot thirty. Um, so what I do when I want to take raw image um, files is I have to explicitly configure the application. Um, so I go to the settings and then I, I, I activate pro mode, what they call professional mode. Um, and then once I do that, the a whole bunch of options that come up on top there and what I do is I, I click the raw option and then just specify that I want to take raw images and then I take the image, right? Um, and you notice that once I take the image, if I, if I use um, either the built-in file, file, file explorer or file manager um, or a custom one like this one, this is Astro, I get to see the raw image file, right? The digital negative DNG file. So this is what I was trying to show last time when the demo kind of like failed. And, and you really notice that, so these two images were, were taken within a space of, I guess, they were five seconds apart or something, so you notice that the sizes are somewhat different, it's like five megabytes instead of one megabyte, because it's a raw image, right? Um, so again, like I said, typically if you take a raw image file, you won't be able to open it using your default application on your phone, so you can't use the camera. So I cannot open this uh, raw image using the uh, camera application on my phone. I have to use a computer application software that is able to open this sort of file. So that's able to sort of like read this file format, <clears throat> right? So in this case, I'm, I'm just using GIMP. I happen to use GIMP because it's freely available and it's open source, right? So you just go out there and download it and use it. In fact, it's available for kind of like various um, operating systems, so you can download the Windows equivalent if you wish to. But interestingly enough, GIMP in its vanilla format is unable to, to open the DNG file. So what I have to do, what you have to do is you have to install a plugin, right? It's just a type of uh, application software. So there's a GIMP plugin <laughs> called Raw Photo Loader in this case, which I had to, um, to install. Um, and then, yeah, I'm able to open the the, the raw image file, the digital negative, and then once I open it, GIMP also has an option to export the image into various formats, depending on what I want to use the resulting format for. So if I'm, if I'm sharing it with other people, I can't share 31 megabytes of the file, right, with photo. In fact, it, it will mean the people that I'm sending that digital negative to must know exactly what sort of application to use to open the digital negative. So um, the best option here is to convert it into an image file format that is able to be read by the vast majority of people. If I'm using this uh, resource on the web, for instance, um, I'll probably have to convert it in the format that is substantially smaller in size. PNG, for instance. 